wake up. Paralyzed due to lack of sleep, you press the snooze button a few times and somehow muster the strength to get out of your comfy, cozy situation and embark on this journey of getting ready for work. It is approximately 6 a.m. and you need to be at work at your desk by 6.45 a.m. Problem is, you live 20 minutes away from work. If only you didn't press that stupid snooze button so many times, you think to yourself. You skip your morning shower and breakfast because you have run out of time. You get into your car at exactly 6.21 and now you must drive like you are in the new Fast and Furious movie and make it to work on time. With the sound of tires screeching and and by the grace of God, you made it. You were on time and now you can wipe the sweat off your face. Take a deep breath and start working. You are excited to get home. Kick your feet up and watch your favorite TV show. You think to yourself, wow, it's already time for work? I just shut my eyes. Again, you defeat all odds and make it to work on time and getting through the day and ending with your favorite TV show. The next day comes. As you are going through your day, something strange happens. You start to see things, things you have already seen before, like deja vu. You think to yourself, man, what day is it? You have started to lose track of the days. You start feeling yourself going into autopilot. You get up, you get dressed, go to work, then come home. And this repeats itself over and over and over again. You can feel yourself in autopilot and itching to get out, but you can't. There is something holding you back, something that will not let you go. You have to keep working to sustain the life you have made for yourself. I can't just stop working, you say to yourself. You push through. You continue on and on and on. You now stare off in space frequently, thinking about random things like, I wonder if there are aliens. What if Superman was real? I hope my boss quits. You take a look at your bank account. The expression is all over your face because you ate out every day of this week. Life is kicking you in the butt. However, this is only just the beginning. Worldwide this morning, growing concern over a growing health crisis, with health officials here in the U.S. moving fast to prepare for what the CDC has called an inevitable spread. As if your life couldn't get any worse, you hear about this thing, this disease called COVID, and you brush it to the side, thinking it's not real. You can't believe something of this magnitude could happen in this world. This is what you see in movies, you think to yourself. But then you hear about the NBA quitting their entire season. It just got real. You panic. You start calling your family or friends asking them about this crazy thing that is happening to us. Are we all going to die? You think to yourself. You somehow cool yourself down and continue to press on with your regular day. The alarm goes off. You rush into work and everyone is talking about it. Your boss then informs you you will have to start working from home and that there will be layoffs. Many are now out of work or having severely reduced hours. I don't sleep. I go to sleep but I wake up and it's on my mind. What am I going to do? I. I mean, I got bills. Wait, layoffs? This can't be real life right now, you think to yourself. If you lose this job, you'll be finished. How will you be able to afford any of your bills? How will you survive? Thankfully, you were not one of the ones chosen to get laid off. You now live in a new world where you only greet people from a distance. Social distance is plastered everywhere, and now you can only see people's eyes. Because of this, you decide to stay inside most of the time. Almost never leaving your apartment, afraid you might catch this dreadful disease, you have seen the death number rise each and every day. This has kept you frightened, so you stay where it is safe inside. Unable to see your family and friends, you have been isolated from the outside world and are starting to feel lonely. You keep pushing through. You get up the next day and now instead of driving to work, you walk to your living room for work. Life seemed to be normal again in this new world. But then, tragedy strikes. Inflation is taking a big bite out of Americans' everyday budgets and savings. The latest report out this morning is expected to show an 8.4% spike. You hear about this term called inflation as everyone is talking about it. You're like, hey guys, what is the big idea? What is going to happen with inflation being at 8.6%? Wait, hold on. You don't know what this means? One of your coworkers utters to you. A quick Google search has informed you that inflation is the decline of purchasing power of a given current over time. The rise in prices, which is often expressed as a percentage, means that a unit of currency effectively buys less than it did in prior periods. As soon as you finish reading the last sentence of the definition, you quickly look up. Your face says it all. You are terrified. 
Wait, you mean everything will cost more? Americans seeing rising gas prices up another seven cents in just the last 24 hours. Inflation hit a 40 year record high in March. Prices from food to rent already up a staggering seven and a half percent from last year. I already have bills on top of bills and now I have to worry about this? You say to yourself, you have nothing in savings and you do not have any investments. You are left with pennies in your bank account. I can't believe this. You say to yourself, I'm about to be on the street looking at all the past due bills that are coming in the mail, glaring at you with every move you make. What am I going to do? <sighs> Nightmare, wasn't it? Crazy stuff. Like, OK, let's let's talk. What would you have done in that situation? I know you are probably thinking, man, I do not want to have to go through that. How can I stop that from happening? Well, you are in luck. What if I told you there is a way of escaping the rat race, a way of multiplying your money without even actually going to work? Would you call me a liar? Only one way to find out. A rat race, an endless self-defeating or pointless pursuit. It may also refer to a competitive struggle to get ahead financially or routinely. The term is commonly associated with an exhausting, repetitive lifestyle that leaves no time for relaxation or enjoyment. A life of living just to survive? <laughs> is not a life at all. Think about it. When you wake up, your sole purpose is to go to work and make a living so you can pay for your bills, so you can sustain the life that you have created in order to just keep going. You do this day after day after day and your life starts to turn into a race, a race to get to Friday whenever Monday arrives. Like you're on a hamster wheel, dreading going into work every day because you work so hard but get paid so little. You are in an endless loop of doing the same thing over and over again. There is no purpose in your life, just living to survive. So where do you go from here? What is more important to you, money or time? If you said time, good answer. Here's a fun fact. If you work 40 hours a week up until 65 years old, you will work just over 90,000 hours in your lifetime. You see, this is the issue. In order for you to get paid, you need to trade your time for money. Time is a precious commodity, and instead of spending it with your family and friends, you are forced to spend most of it working. This is not a life you want to live. I think you have been dreaming of a life where it doesn't feel like you are on a hamster wheel each and every day. However, there is something that needs to change, something you need to do in order to end this rat race. I think you will be very pleased with what you are about to see. Journaling your income and expenses is the first step. Jot down your income and expenses for the month and see where you can make changes. Start putting some money in your savings account, about 10%, every time you get paid, just in case an emergency would arise. Now check this out. What if you can make money in your sleep? This is not a joke. There is a way where you can make money work for you instead of you always having to trade in your precious time for money. This important phenomenon is called investing. Investing is the act of allocating resources, usually money, with the expectation of generating an income or profit. You can invest in endeavors such as using money to start a business or in assets such as purchasing real estate in hopes of reselling it later at a higher price. Did you know that more than 47% of Americans aren't investing their money? How can this be? Could it be because of fear of losing your money or lack of knowledge? In a world where inflation is at 8.6%, investing your money should be number one on your list right now. Check this out. If you invested $100 a month in the stock market, say in the S&P 500 index fund stock, VOO, you would get a return of roughly 7% each year. Now, if you had that money invested for about, let's say five years, what would your return be? Your total investment would be $6,000 and you would have made an extra $1,201 doing absolutely nothing. This is how the rich continue to stay wealthy. They understand the importance of not trading time for money, but by investing their money into assets assets, which will produce passive income. Passive, meaning you are not trading time for money. So when the destruction of inflation comes with the rising of prices in gas and food, the rich are able to still flourish. All right, now that we got that out the way, let's talk about what you can invest in. The stock market. 
which is the most popular and easy way to get your money working for you. You see that rectangular like of an object that lives in your pocket or in your purse? It has a little tiny screen. Yes, your cell phone. You can download an app like Robinhood or Weeble and start investing right now. Next, you have real estate. Purchasing a home that you can rent out to someone else or buying a fixer upper where you can buy a property, then fix it up and resell it for profit. Then there is crypto. You can invest in Bitcoin or Ethereum through the use of an app like Gemini or Coinbase, another way you can multiply your money while you sleep. You can invest into a business and in return earn stake in the company. I advise you to do your research on the company before doing this. Really get to know everything about the business. Don't just give away your money because investing in a business can be very risky. Lastly, you can invest in commodities like silver and gold. Robert Kiyosaki likes to invest in commodities as he likes to call them God's money because silver and gold has been on this earth for thousands of years. If your mind is going crazy right now, I wanted to make you aware of investing because your time is so precious. Get off the hamster wheel and end the rat race. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die.